take a piece of paper and perform the toilet paper test in the bathroom. You'll quickly find out if you have a serious problem. Moisture in the bathroom is a problem in many homes. Accumulating water on tiles promotes mold growth. This happens in the corners of the shower and near the bathtub. In these areas, water doesn't dry as quickly. If there's moisture in the bathroom, mold and even fungus can quickly appear. That's why it's important to have dry air in the bathroom. Just wiping the fogged mirror or tiles sometimes isn't enough. The most important thing is proper air circulation, and that depends on a properly functioning ventilator. The bathroom exhaust fan also needs to be cleaned. Dust and dirt accumulate on it, which limits its operation. A gravity fan won't work either if all the windows and doors in the apartment are tightly closed. Lack of airflow causes it to stop working. To check if the fan is working, do the paper test. Take a piece of paper and hold it against the fan. A properly working fan will hold the paper. If the fan doesn't work, doesn't draw air, the paper won't stay. In that case, clean the fan. Also, open or loosen the windows to allow airflow in the apartment. Then the fan should work. During the paper test, the paper won't fall. Even a piece of toilet paper is enough. If it sticks, it will protect you from mold and fungi development. Mold has appeared in your house? You can quickly remove it with a super effective spray. This homemade product always works. Thanks to it, many people got rid of mold once and for all. Today I will show you the recipe for this spray. Before you use it, let me tell you one more thing. Or rather, the hidden function of one thing. If you do not ventilate your apartment, the lack of air circulation favors the development of mold and fungi. If you don't have air vents, unseal the windows. The handle in most plastic windows has an additional function. In addition to opening and tilting the window, you can unseal it. Position the handle diagonally, at an angle. Additionally, always turn on the absorber when cooking, then steam will not settle on the walls and ceiling in the kitchen. However, the most important thing is always good air circulation in the bathroom. This is where you most often need to remove mold from tiles in the shower or bathtub. Many people have to use home spray in the bathroom. To prepare it, prepare three products. The first is vinegar. It has long been successfully used to combat mold and fungi. The second product is hydrogen peroxide. You can buy it at any pharmacy. It also effectively removes mold. However, vinegar combined with hydrogen peroxide becomes much more powerful. Use them in equal amounts. Pour the mixture into a large or small bottle and spray it on the mold areas. Add a dozen or so drops of tea tree oil to them. Now, no mold has a chance. Leave the preparation on the mold for several days. Then, wash off any mold remnants. Be sure to throw away the cloths and brushes you used to clean and remove mold. And that's it. If you did everything correctly, the mold will disappear. From now on, you will always know how to remove it. I do this once a week to get rid of mold. Place sponges, scrubbers, and brushes that are in the sink into a bowl. Then, generously sprinkle them with salt. Salt has cleansing and disinfecting properties. Pour boiling water over the entire contents and leave it for a few minutes. The salt in boiling water will remove bacteria, fungi, and mold from their surfaces. Once soaked, these items will be hygienic and safe for health. The unpleasant odor will also disappear. Dip a twig in it and spray the bathroom. The silverfish will disappear as if by magic wand after just one night. It's a home remedy for small bugs that appear out of nowhere in the bathroom. These insects don't have wings. You can most often find them in the bathroom, especially at night. They feed on scraps left in bathrooms. It's moist enough there for them to live and reproduce. Silverfish aren't harmful, they don't bite, and they don't carry any diseases. However, they're not welcome and disgust many people, but you don't have to buy expensive and toxic silverfish killers. Just make a homomadi spray to get rid of. These bugs from the bathroom once and for all. The corners and nooks sprayed with it will be an impassable barrier. Such a spray will repel them. They won't show up in the bathroom anymore. Pour vinegar into a pot and heat it. Most insects can't stand the smell of vinegar. They avoid it like the plague. Put a sprig of rosemary in the vinegar. 
The scent of rosemary repels insects. It also works on silverfish. Add a few drops of lavender oil to the mixture. Such a remedy won't kill the silverfish, but it will effectively repel them. It's completely safe. You can also use it in the kitchen. Its scent will dissipate. So use such a spray every few days. You'll quickly get rid of the silverfish. When I discovered this method, there are no more flies, ants, or cockroaches in my house. I got rid of them effectively and without harmful chemicals. Pour 300 milliliters of water into a frying pan. Prepare two tablespoons of cloves. They must be whole. Their use in repelling pests is brilliant. Throw them into the water and heat the whole thing. A decoction should be formed. When the water changes color and a pleasant scent begins to pervade the house, we move on to the next step. Sprinkle baking soda onto the pan. Two tablespoons are enough. It will react with the decoction and start fizzing. Add small amounts so that the substance does not overflow from the pan. Stir until it disappears. Let us know in the comments from which location you are watching us. I'm sure this one mixture will help you get rid of pests from your home once and for all. Pour it into a spray bottle. I used a funnel for this. Put a few bay leaves into the bottle. Their intense smell repels pests. Just insert them into the previously prepared mixture to enhance its effectiveness. Such a spray can last up to two months. Since I've been living in the countryside, I always have it on hand. I was fed up with pests that had infested my house. It turned out that just by spraying this spray on the front door, kitchen cabinets and windowsills insects avoid the house like the plague. I haven't seen a single ant or fly in the kitchen for several months. This natural recipe is safe for pets and children. The yellow stains on the toilet seat will disappear within minutes. The toilet will be white again without using harmful detergents. Do you have such stains on the underside of the seat? Many people struggle to remove them. They form due to the deposition of urine and water droplets during flushing. Urine stains the seat, and the lime scale formed by the water can initially be invisible, then gradually take on a slightly yellowish color. If you clean the toilet and seat with strong detergents, its surface may be damaged and more susceptible to various stains. But there's a trick to it. Just make a homemade paste. The stains and discolorations will vanish. The toilet will be white again. This method saves me in such situations. I don't have to replace the seat with a new one yet. Take baking soda and pour it into a container. Add some hydrogen peroxide to it, just enough to create a paste. Mix it. It's best to use an old toothbrush for this. It's perfect for applying this substance to stains. The baking soda and hydrogen peroxide paste should be thick enough to stick to the stains. Leave it on the toilet for about 10 minutes. During this time, the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide will dissolve the stains. Then just remove everything, wipe it with paper, and you're done.